The question is, what is atomic number equal to? And the answer you're probably looking for is the number of protons that are in the nucleus of the atom. Let's use aluminum as an example here. If you look at the periodic table, aluminum is element number 13. What that means is that in an atom of aluminum, you're going to have 13 protons. Those are little tiny subatomic particles that have a charge of plus one. The number of neutrons has nothing to do with that number. The number of neutrons is somewhat related to this mass, some teachers will tell you, but this is an average across all the atoms. The number of neutrons um, in an aluminum is generally about 27 minus 13, which is 14. But atomic number itself is actually only the number of protons in the nucleus. Now, if the atom is neutral, i.e., if the teacher, if your teacher says that there is no charge on the atom, or if they say it's a neutral atom, it also equals the number of electrons that are there. Again, only if your teacher specifies that it is neutral. If it's a positively charged atom, then there's going to be more protons than electrons. If it's a negatively charged atom, there's going to be more electrons than protons. But the number of protons is what defines the atomic number and identity of the atom. There's your answer. Thanks for being with me, and best of luck.